everyone, if you have a Gator Shell board and you want to install a cooler to it with a cooler kit, uh, you're going to take the straps out. And really simply, I always recommend start with the metal at the top right here. And there's a couple reasons for that, but it just makes things a little bit easier. And that way, uh, as a little reminder, in the board are built in these little uh, tie down, cooler tie down, seat tie down uh, clips. And so you're just going to string the webbing through, squeeze here on the cam, pull through, and then you're going to cinch this down. I usually try to leave this actually a little loose until I get both sides done so I can make sure to center it right in the middle. And then you can also, if, if you want, kind of pull this down, dress it through. Or if you do the opposite of what I recommended, which is you go bottoms up, this will allow you to dress that tail of the strap. through the top. So like this, and then you can just tuck it down so it's out of the way. So especially depending on if you're going to be fishing, you want to make sure you don't have loose straps and things hanging around. That's one way of doing it. You can, of course, also uh, trim this down if need be for your own personal use. But then just do the same thing on the other side. And once they're both there, you have a nice, very secure platform for sitting, for standing, uh, you know, especially on a rack -ohm. You could easily stand on this. You know, if you have good balance, you could stand on it, sight cast off of it, especially if you're in flat water. So uh, great tool, great piece to have equipment wise. Also, if you're on, for example, um, some of the arrow boards on a breeze, it gives you an opportunity to attach a cooler uh, since you don't have the bucket rack connection points. So great piece to have. Make sure you get your cooler tie down kit and then uh, get yourself a cooler.